All right, y'all. So we heading to Mothers down there in New Orleans. Y'all highly requested it. We're going to go check it out. Give it a review. See what it is. Like I said, I ain't never ate there. I've been here all my life. Uh, probably because of the fact it's on Chapatulas and Poydras down in the city. And then I'm going to take y'all and show y'all some things in the city while we out there, okay? Let's go. <laughs> all right, y'all. So this is heading to Canal Street right here. This is Canal. So the French Quarter straight across over there. As you can see, the cathedral. If you can see that down the street right there. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead on and take this right when the light turns and we're gonna go down Canal Street, okay, y'all? But we on Canal, so we coming up on the right-hand side up here. Y'all gonna see that's the Harris Casino, and I'm gonna show y'all that. And then we're gonna see they got the uh, Canal Place, which has got a lot of them high-dollar shopping places. If for my people with the big money, with them big old black cards, y'all can go up in there and get you some uh, Gucci purses and some a uh, couple of Rolexes while you're out here. Bear with me, we're gonna hit potholes. This is New Orleans, guys. You're gonna hit some potholes, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. But see, on to your right, right here, y'all can see that, like I said, that's one entrance to Harris Casino right there. It's humongous, okay? It's truly humongous. Uh, it's like, takes up all four blocks, the whole four block situation right there. But uh, over here, I'm about to show y'all. Okay, that's my big money people, okay? You come over here and make sure your money's right. Hold on, let me get out of this situation here, yeah, okay? Hold on, check it out, y'all. That's all your big old stores in there, okay? So you got like Saks Fifth Avenue in there. I mean, you got big stores in there. That's where all your big stores are right up in that little strip mall right here, okay? Look, go in there and grab you a little bit of diamonds and a couple of Rolexes while you're up in the neighborhood. Uh... I ain't never been to Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't know what they sell up in there, but I'm sure it's something nice. I think a purse or something like that. We'll get you a purse or something for your old lady or, or whatever, for yourself. So we're on Decatur Street heading into the quarter. So to the right of us, that's going to be the Mississippi River. All right. And then on your left side down here, all these are like condos at the top. Go, you know, businesses at the bottom, a bunch of stores, restaurants, things of that nature, okay? So you're getting a tour of New Orleans, y'all, without even having to be in on one of them tour buses. You see what I'm saying? Got y'all covered on this, all right? Saving y'all a lot of loot right now, okay? Showing you the city right now, live and direct. Look, they're getting ready for Mardi Gras time. They're decorating. They're going to they're gonna move forward. They're going to have a party, all right? Let's see what else we got up here coming up. That's what we're talking about. All right, y'all, so to your left up here is going to be the French market, okay? So you're going to see it coming up. We're kind of behind it, but I'm going to show you. This is where you come, like, buy glasses and hats, and then they got a food park where you get some alligators. You buy your hammock. You can buy everything, all kind of stuff, okay? And then over here, you can buy, like, tomato, Creole tomatoes, and like I told you, fried alligators, all kind of food on this side right here, okay? So you can get all that there covered while you're down here, look. Look up in there, see? Yeah, so that's what they saw there. And this is the outside part right here. So it's really, really big. It's not small at all. As you can see, look, you can buy some suitcases, Mardi Gras masks. I mean, you name it, they got it. Cups and scarves and hats and everything. Even a voodoo doll if you want to buy one, okay? You got everything you want up in there. We heading down into the French Quarter. You have got to understand, y'all. <clears throat> it's gonna be bumpy, okay? They got more potholes in, in, in down here in New Orleans than they got people, okay? So just bear with us on that and just check it out. It's all about the scenery, okay? And uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I can, okay? So now part, a certain part of the French Quarter, see that's a pothole right there, y'all. There's a bunch of potholes. But anyway, a certain part of the French Quarter, y'all, is, is it's mainly like when you get down to close to Esplanade, there's a lot of houses and, and things of that nature, where we are right now. And then as you're going to go to the left, you're going to start to realize that that's where the bars pick up and clubs and so you strip joints, all, all that type of stuff, okay? But uh, the streets in New Orleans are terrible, y'all. I mean, just terrible. Look, you got to go real slow. But look at these houses, how beautiful they are. They really are just gorgeous houses. Check it out. And look what they do. Show them on top of this here how they put the nails so people can't go over there. You see? Show them right here. You see if you try to go up over that gate right there? Because that's a courtyard behind there. If you go over that gate, 
You're gonna have a bad day or a bad night, I guarantee it, okay? Them nails are gonna go right in your hand, okay? That's what they do to keep people out on any time of the year, but mainly Mardi Gras time, people get a little carried away and drunk and things of that nature, and they wanna go in these uh, courtyards. Because let me tell y'all something. These houses have the most beautiful courtyards, okay? So basically, you just see the house and then they have an alleyway, and you go down that alleyway, and behind that house is a you know, if it, some of them have it, have big, beautiful courtyards with the big oak trees, and they just have it set up really beautiful, okay? But like I say, you got to have your money right if you're gonna buy a house over here, okay? All right, this is uh, Royal Street. So, Royal Street, if you come down to New Orleans, y'all, you can buy a bunch of antiques and beautiful things of that nature. Once again, you gotta have your money right because it ain't cheap, guaranteed. Look, that guy got some. Antique furniture right down this trailer. Supposing he's either buying or selling. But they have a lot of stuff down here on Royal Street. I love, love Royal Street, okay? Come down here. Definitely check Royal Street out, man. Let me tell you, they got just all kind of awesome stuff. All right, y'all. So we done did a little tour for y'all. Let's go check out and see what Mother's is working with. Let's go do this review because it was so highly recommended. All right, y'all. So we have Mother's down here in New Orleans. My Chapatula's. Street. So check it out. We're gonna go see what they got. Let's go. Sign said it was established in 1938. That's a long time to be in business, that's for sure. The specials of the day. Check it out. Alright y'all check it out. I just went ahead on. I placed my order before I got here. I wasn't doing the whole sit down thing. So we're gonna see what it is. We're gonna go to the car right here and we're gonna check it out together. Let's go. Alright y'all, so I got that famous Ferdy Poe Boy. Uh evidently they call it it comes with the brie. Looks like roast beef, I guess you're getting there. I'm getting there, y'all. So let's see. Let's open it up and see what's what on this thing, okay? Like I said, I ain't never ate that mothers. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, okay? But let's see what it is, okay? So this is that sandwich. Look like you got some roast beef on there and some ham. And then like I said, uh, they call this the debris right here. So I get so make gonna make a mess. Hold on, y'all. Let me open this up. Which is basically roast beef and gravy, okay? Bear with me. I guess you're supposed to take his ear and put it on your pool boy. Alright, so this is the debris. Go ahead and pour it on there, I guess. Have them what you want. All right, we we'll put that much. That's good. That's gonna be a mess right there. Enough. And, uh, let's see what it is. Okay. All right. So that's what it looks like, y'all. Um. Let's give it another bite. Let's see what it is. It's kind of a different sandwich, y'all, because basically when you get it, it's cold cut just like this. And then they give you the hot roast beef and gravy to put on it yourself. Like I said, they call it the debris. I don't know. Let's give it another try. It's not bad. Quite different. The way I see it, y'all, in my honest opinion, in my honest opinion, it's not a bad sandwich. But I come down to chop the tool of some to get it. No. I mean, personally, I would. I don't understand. I mean, you can kind of see it yourself. I mean, I think it's, the sandwich speaks for itself right now. Alright y'all, so this is the bread pudding right here. Now as you can see, we're gonna see what it is. Let's see what it's working with. 
no. Red pudding is good. The bread pudding is definitely working with something. I might come down here for the, I'd probably come down here with the bread pudding to be honest with y'all. Uh, bread pudding is definitely delicious. So if you do come to Mother's, try the bread pudding for sure. I don't know about that famous poor boy. I think I'll stay away from that. Maybe they got something better. I don't know, in my opinion. And I want y'all to see, because I don't want y'all to think I'm just saying that. I want y'all to check it out. I mean, you look at it, see what you think. Give it a look. You give it a look about, see what you think, okay? Now the bread pudding, like I said, absolutely delicious okay mm. really really buttery and y'all know i love my butter now look at all that butter down there there's sauce but there's butter in there really good i don't know that i ever had bread pudding before with that much butter but since i love butter i'm bound with it but so that's it y'all Stay away from the famous po' boy. I don't. I think it's kind of raggedy myself. Bread pudding's worth coming out here to grab some. And do keep in mind, if you're gonna come, stay away from lunchtime and dinner time because it gets extremely packed. You're gonna wait a long time to get your food. And that's it. Mother's review is done. This is a highly, highly requested video, so that's why we came out here, y'all. We did it. If you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment what you want to see next and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you, okay?